What's good? My name is Chris Dallas. This is season two, episode two, Trapping Anonymous, Dominatrix Anonymous. Um, on this episode, I think it gets uh, it's a, it's gonna get a little weird, <laughs> depending on what you like. If it's probably not weird to you, you probably some out of this world type of. Nah, I'm fucking with you, but um, yeah, things are gonna get a little interesting on this episode. Um, we probably jump into a world probably a lot of people not not really into or probably a lot of people don't know. But, you know, it's still something that I think we should shed light on and, you know, get some education on. Um, those still trapping T-shirts are still on sale for about a week. We got um, a week left on the campaign. Shout out to everybody that supported that. Um, the shirt should be going out to production by the end of this week. So, um I appreciate y'all for supporting and keeping this thing going, you know, keeping us ad free, keeping us, keeping it authentic, um, strictly for the culture. Do remember it's only entertainment, so the stories you hear don't necessarily reflect real life accounts, and they'll be used to educate and hopefully keep your little mans off the streets. This is Trapping Anonymous Season 2, Episode 2, Dominatrix Anonymous. It's only entertainment. Please don't get me indicted. Let's go. <laughs> Season 2, Episode 2, Trapping Anonymous. My name is Chris Dallas. Today we have a... What do, what do we call your profession? Or what, what was your profession? What do we call that? Dominatrix. We have a dominatrix in the fucking building. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so like... um. I think I've read like books like um what's it called? Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. not even close to what I was doing. Really? Mm-hmm. So okay, I was very disappointed with like the movie and shit. Like Fifty Shades of Grey, they had like the the movie was so super cheesy. I didn't really get it. You know, like what what the fuck is a dominatrix? Um, that's just a woman who, or it could be anyone, but it's a woman who dominates a man, or another woman. But I've never done. Another woman. So it could be a woman dominating a woman or mm-hmm. a woman dominating a man. Yes. Could it be a man dominating a woman? I don't think it, it'll be called dominatrix. I think it's like a masculine noun for that or some shit. So it's like um, it's like a thing for a woman to like. It's, so so like me, like this is probably like too much information, but like I like to be dominant. Like I'm a dominant kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like a, and I don't know if it's like kind of like the norm for the guy to always be like dominant over the it's woman? not the norm okay so there's a such thing it's called a, um it's called a switch okay which means you go back and forth between being submissive and dominant what the fuck okay all right so that's that's interesting but okay so like there's a field for men who just want to be dominated by women yes but then there's also that same field that they only want to meet with a submissive woman so that they can fuck the woman up. Oh, okay. So is there sex involved or is it um, just like a... So the reason why I stopped doing it is because like females were having sex with men and like they were expecting that from the other women who weren't doing oh. that. So that's why I stopped altogether because I'm yeah. not into that. Um, but initially f- from what I know, like we're not supposed to have sex with guys. Oh, dungeon. so it's just supposed to be like this big tease thing? Like, yeah, they they climax because they're jerking themselves off or they come from like getting their balls stepped on or whoa, whoa, getting okay. spit on. All right, hold on. We're moving fast. <laughs> We're moving fucking fast. You got nigga. Wait. All right, so men are coming from getting their balls stepped on? Yeah, it's their fantasy. So if someone's acting out your fantasy, you're going to ejaculate. You, don't, you might not even need anyone to literally like jerk you off or you might not need anyone to like fuck you or suck you or whatever the case is it's like if you're living out your fantasy it happens like for me i'm like i don't know in my mind it's like why what the why the fuck would i want somebody to be like torturing me like i think that's it's just a sadistic like a lot of these men i think they come in there there a lot of them are hasidic jews okay wait coming in where like where are they coming into it's a dungeon so there's like an actual it's a place you would never like people pass it all the time you would never know it's like in a business building um excuse me like an office building okay and um 
Like you just never know. It's like secret codes and passwords and whatever else. What the fuck? Yeah. So how does someone like? How do I? So like, how would I know about it? Like, if I was into it, probably like, how, like Craigslist or like um, the 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 website. Like the company has a website, so I think it's more like on a referral basis, oh. or they'll find it like through. So like Craigslist. you gotta know somebody. Exactly. Yeah. It's like really really secret. Like they're really really low key about how they get new new um guests there. Okay, so you get you get referred to this um to this to this dungeon, dungeon and um <clears throat> you walk in. What the fuck happens next? Um, so the manager meets them, brings them in the room, and um, like if they're a new person, then all of the girls meet them one by one, or a guy will tell you, the guy will tell the manager, oh, I only want black women oh. or I only want white women with big tits or I only want big tits or I only want yeah. fat ass or whatever and then and you just kind of wean them out yeah the girls go in according to like the description that they want and then we it's called a meet so we will meet with the guy for like a few seconds yeah. and fill him out and then at the end the manager will go in and he'll say like I want this girl and then the girl will go in and meet with him or if he wants like several girls you know that's how that's this how sounds it. like a really organized fucking business. It's actually really, it really is organized. So, like, do you get paid by like commission? Like, is it like tips? Is well, it you like... get paid by the hour, but it kind of is commission if you um, get picked. So, like, if someone, if a client comes in and wants a session with you, then you get paid by the hour. Um, if you get tipped in, which means like someone else could be having a session and then they bring me into like do some extra shit to the guy, then they can take me in and give me, like, tips. How much money was you, like, how much money could you make doing something like this? Um, so It depends on how good the days were. Like, some right. days, guys would just be coming in consistently, and, like, you would have a client list, and you can make, like, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a day. In a day? Mm-hmm. And not having sex? Not having sex. But then what there's the girls fuck? that I, I knew one girl, she was having sex, and she was making, like, in a day, three thousand dollars or whatever, and it's, like, but okay, cool. But for me, it wasn't worth it. Like I'd rather just fuck up white men than to instead of <laughs> fucking them. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You rather you rather just <laughs> you rather just fuck up white. What is your thing with like white people? Like oh, white yeah. men. I don't really care for white men like that. Like. Okay, so I mean, it's like a reverse, okay. a role reversal kind of thing. All right, wait. So this is Traveling Anonymous. This is season two, episode two. Um, I want to give you ethnicity. Can I give you ethnicity? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're black. Yes. Okay, and do you have something against white men? I have something against all white people, but specifically white men. Yeah. What the so you could like enter this profession to just get off like your anger to Yeah, war. you know why? A lot of white men come in and like, oh, I only wanna have a black woman and like they'll get dominated. Like they wanna get dominated by a black woman or they wanna have like slave scenarios or they want you to be their maid or whatever it is. What like the these white men have crazy fetishes. Um What are some of the crazy fetishes that you saw? Um there's this one guy, he wanted to be, like, tied up on a cross and, like, whipped <laughs> until he bled. <laughs> like Jesus? Yeah, like Jesus. No, no, actually, that's exactly what it was. I didn't want to say I didn't want to be religiously <laughs> insensitive, but he wanted to be whipped until he bled, um, but he wanted a black girl to do it, and then he wanted, a, like, a Hispanic girl to, like, spit on him. Okay, wait, so wait, wait. Like, a guy like this, how the fuck does he climax from that? Like I don't know. I, I That's the thing that gets me all the time is, like, I'm you're, I'm whipping you until you bleed and you're like he got hard everything and like what he climaxed over that too. So I was just like and so and you actually get a joy by beating this white woman. Yeah, up. he was a Jewish guy. <laughs> <laughs> he was so dumb. But yeah. Wait, wait, wait. He was a Jew. Yeah, he was a Hasidic Jew, like the ones with the curls oh, and those no, like beaver mean. hats. Yeah, no. Yeah, a lot of actually, that's the majority of the clients that come in. So these Jews is out here fronting, running up and down mm-hmm. Eastern. You know Parkway, what? I really like they <laughs> so religious, but they in the dungeon getting made I, ass. Away. I honestly think that um, since their religion doesn't allow them oh. to be sexually expressive, 
that they like they have they repressed all of that sexual like tension or whatever so whenever they like have sex with their wives they have to have like a sheet between them or whatever it is like they're only having sex to recreate like reproduce and exactly so then when they come into like a dungeon they're like okay act out the fantasies and i'm just gonna go back home to my wife or whatever these are the guys that are like so that's how with the curls and the the top hats and they are just like Mm -hmm. walking up and down yeah and they are asking you to yeah make them jesus they're like you know (laughs) i don't even want to be religiously insensitive either so i'm not gonna like make any jokes about that but there's probably a lot no, of... No, they're crazy, well, though. Like, the first thing you want to do is go to something, like, in the Bible and, like, have somebody, like, recreate that scenario for you. But then also, like, do they believe in, like, the Bible? Like, don't they read, like, the Torah it's or It's like the Old Testament. Is? Regardless, they're, like, yeah, like, they're just really, really weird. I don't know. All of the, all of the men who come there to me have, like mental issues like there's one young guy he's like in his 30s and he comes in he's like handsome and he just wants to smell your feet like he wants you to walk around before he gets there for three hours and like socks on socks on socks and like boots and like (laughs) have your feet stinking and then (laughs) i'm serious and then you like he'll (gasps) unzip the boots for you and like take the shoes off like take your socks off okay seriously i think i think um pretty toes are attractive so like i don't think like that's a weird thing but i don't like want you to like have stink Stink feet feet. that's like kind of weird right that's what i'm saying and like this guy was fairly attractive he was like really good looking for some like one Mm. of the best looking guys i've ever seen in the dungeon coming that dungeon yeah so i was confused as to like why do you have to go through this like he wanted to like he wanted to be suffocated to death like with like stink feet. feet. And like he Yeah, and he would do like one person for an hour and then he would ask to have other girls for like another hour. So it would be like four or five okay, of us okay. suffocating so, him with right, stink feet. Alright, these dudes is fucking wild the fuck out. Wait, so like yeah. when you said like stomping on men's balls. Mm-hmm. But with like heels, the yeah. Part? Stilettos. <laughs> The heel, yes. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yo, no, 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 no. And they are mm-hmm. enjoying that. And you're enjoying yes. fucking up, right? So there's no, like, black guys. Like, you know, at first I was... Uh, yeah, there's black guys, but I oh. never meet with them. Like, I don't meet with any black men ever because it's like that could easily right. be, like, my dad or my brother or something. Like, uh, I'm no more, so no is white person like, is going to be my dad or brother. Like, financial benefit or were you doing this for like your own like revenge kind of thing so it kind of was like both it was like i wanted to experiment and then i wanted to like get my money and then i also wanted to like fuck (laughs) up white people in the process you are are fucking yeah i am (laughs) so like it is what it is they're getting pleasure by being tortured and you're getting pleasure by fucking them up what is like does any of yeah. your family members ever like hear about you? Did, did you ever talk, tell your mom like, okay, mom, you told your mom? Yeah, I told my mom, but like after the fact, after oh, so it was like all oh, said and done and over. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. because I don't want her to be worried about me in the process. But yeah, it's, I, my mom is like we're like really close. I told her afterwards. What, I told her everything I do to, like, after the fact. You fucking a white man. She was just pleasure. like, <laughs> no, she was like cracking How up, did you laughing. Get into Really, um, I knew somebody who was doing it, and then I was just like, I was, I'm a really curious person, so I was just, uh, I, one day I was like looking on Craigslist. I'm like, you yeah. know what, I could get a second job, um, and then I found it on Craigslist. I applied as a joke, and then when I went in, they usually have like a like this whole process like hiring, wow. and they hired like, me on the I spot. Was so I'm just like, like okay, I, like I had no idea like this stuff actually went on so like when your friend told me like Mm -hmm. listen i have someone that's like kind of into like this underworld stuff i have a bunch of people that hit me up with Mm -hmm. a bunch of different trapping ideas and things that they want to see in episodes Mm -hmm. so um i like to jump on Mm -hmm. it as soon as possible so like when your friend referred me to you i didn't even know this was a fucking thing like i didn't know you like you could seriously it's yeah, like a like, huge thing. I saw I it's saw a, it in like the Fifty yeah. Shades of Grey movie, but I thought the movie was being extreme. That's like 
that's like what soft core really compared to like what I was doing. Like I was like pulling people's teeth out what? with like medical like uh, pliers and stuff. No, they're real so teeth. Yeah, just like to experience mm-hmm. pain. Yeah, yeah. There's some people who wanted like sensuality and yeah. stuff, and I wasn't really into that because they wanted more to be like touchy and like uh like just into them i'm like i'm not into white cracker <laughs> old man i was like Yo, i'm i'm fine okay, you're gonna just like kinda, like <laughs> tone it down on the color i you know i, I have a lot of <laughs> listeners i don't want anybody to be offended by this but i do want to make it the I'm sense not, of like mm. these kind of things really go on and the sense of like Listen, this world is fucking crazy. You know what it really is? Is like they would pick you out as like the black woman who they want to like fantasize or they want to like sexualize or whatever the case is. It's like it's difference between a regular white man who like is like regular towards you than a a white man who is like fantasizing. Not even fantasizing. They're just like fetishizing you fetishizing I don't even know if that's word. Word. It might be. Fetish, fetishizing you they like they have a fetish for black women and it, it kind of irritates Maybe. me so I'm like okay now I'm what gonna irritate you I'm gonna fuck like, you up what if somebody like dies like during a session oh my god someone almost died but it wasn't even my session it was like one of my friends yeah. and she was calling me to like tip in and um he was like this old guy. He came in there with his wife, and they were like white haired white couple. Oh, so like they were like 60s like and plus. Loved ones. Oh, you have a social That was like the oh, first yeah. time that it ever happened. Yeah. So he came in with his wife, and like he wanted his wife to be taught by one of the mistresses how to like okay. uh, dominate him. So and, basically, like, and he was like on like one of these. Home so that my wife could do this to me. Okay. Yes, exactly. So like he was like on this cross kind of thing. Um, it's like an X. It's like, we call it a stretcher. And he, um, he didn't have his di- oh. diabetic medication. And like, he needed insulin or something. He fainted what? while he was like, strapped up on the, the whole stretcher. It was this, like, everyone was like, no, you gotta go. Like, if you died in here, we would have to throw you in the street because, you know, we can't have police coming what in a fuck? dungeon. So, so it was just like, it was a mess. It was a hot For mess. a fucking hard on. Yeah, he was like he, yes, he was fainting. He That's probably was like, like the best way to go. And they were like, like "Are you okay? you in your fantasy? You get <laughs> no." He was butt naked <laughs> on the stretcher, like dying, and everyone was like worried. And he's like, "No, no, put me back on." And we're and like, I don't "No." What's wrong with white no, people? Because really, at least like black people doing this, but like, what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> no, he was out of he was crazy. Okay, it's do you crazy. still have like friends that's in this kind of business? Yeah. Um actually no no no. I'm gonna not gonna lie. All the friends that I made, they left and like they're nurses or like they do it on the side of like their own company now. So like they took whatever clientele that they had. Some of them were wow. doing it for like ten years and like took their clientele and like make three thousand dollars. Do you a ever week do this kind of stuff it. to like um guys that you're with? No, if a guy that I was with was into that, I don't know if I could be into him. Maybe mm. like bondage, like handcuffs and stuff. Okay. Or like tape. The or, regular shit. Yes, like the regular like role play dressing up and stuff. But if you want me to step on your balls. Yeah, nah, you yeah that's kind of like out of line. I, I wouldn't be into that. That's not something I would do to someone to pleasure them. I would only do that to like, because I want to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> and you obviously... When, how long were you doing this for? I did it on and off for like a year. <clears throat> oh, just a oh a year. Just a year, yeah. I mean, like, I, I mean, like, compared the, to all the people who were doing it for like three, four, five, like ten years, yeah, it was a little bit of time, but it was only a year. Would you ever go back to doing it? Hmm, I don't think so. Like, I don't. No, I'm lying. I might. I might. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Wow. So. You said the interview process was like this, um, you know, three part thing and this and the third and you got hired on the spot. I think it was because I was black and like my shape was like they didn't have any girls shaped like that at the place. Like all the black girls that were there were shaped like models, like really thin and tall. And so they wanted someone who was like, you know, had like a 
different kind of like shape on them. So I think that was it. And they were like, oh, you're cute. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. So you never felt like any, you know, bad karma or bad energy from like fucking people up? No, because I'm not doing it against someone's will. Ah, oh, it's because they wanted You them. asked me to. Like, if you wanted me to just, like, tickle your feet with, like, a, a tickler, like, a duster thing, then I would have done that, too. But, like... What, okay, what kind of tools do they got in this oh shit? Oh, my God. They have crazy... They have... Oh, my God. They have butt plugs and dildos and... Um, they and have, guys want you to stick these things mm-hmm, in their ass. They have these things called pinwheels. It's kind of, like... I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of hurts when you rub it across somebody's skin. Yeah. And that's for, like, pinwheel. pony play. So, like, if they wanted to pretend like they were a pony or a horse... You would like run that on their back. I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah. You had like a gag, uh, like a gag. I think it's called a gag bit or a bit, or whatever it is. Where the same thing that you put on a horse, like in their mouth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen them. You put that on like guys. Um, They had like dog bowls for guys to like drink and eat out of them. Um, Have you ever had sex with one of these guys? No. Never? No. Absolutely not. Like I. A, like I only met with guys who I didn't find attractive. Attractive besides that one guy with the feet yeah. fetish, but he I only met with him because he had a foot fetish, and I find people like that weird. Like you want to smell stink feet. If I was ever attracted to one of those guys, I would like not do it because I don't want to even put myself in the position to feel like I might have sex with them. Do you like pee on guys and shit on guys? I never shit on guys. I think fecal matter is disgusting, but I've definitely peed on guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trapping Anonymous, <laughs> Dominatrix Anonymous. That's what I'm gonna call this fucking episode. Dominatrix <laughs> Anonymous. The people are not gonna know what the fuck you're talking about right now. You know, and like you can Google all of this stuff. Like, it's a real thing. Do you ever like run the fear of like your face being seen or do you wear masks or like um my face being seen by whom? But like these people and it's like, oh, I recognize that girl or you're in the street. Yeah. You know the the beauty of it is like these guys, like ninety percent of them are married and like the other ten percent are like embarrassed for and anyone they to like know. Oh, yeah. So it's like this It's, it's a like secret this society. Like, like yeah, secret it's like, kind okay, of thing. Okay, you don't tell on me, I don't tell on you and I'll pay you to do this. And exactly. Like, so if I, I actually saw one of the guys on the train and his what? eyes, he was like with his family, his eyes opened up so wide <laughs> and I just like kept walking and you know, but he his, was like, Damn. No, his eyes opened up so wide, but it's like people are white, scared. Yeah. No, he was a Hasidic Jew. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And his eyes were like, so, and I remember him. It? Yes. Because he, I remember him specifically because he smelled so bad. He smelled like a wet dog. And I, he smelled Yo, I bad. Can't do this. Mm-hmm. Too much. He you smelled horrible, much. like worse than a white dog. Regardless, um, I remembered him specifically because of his smell. And you smelled him. Mm-hmm. We have a, like a, a name for him. Um, oh, so this guy was a regular. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he came in like sometimes he would come in twice a day. Like he would come in the in the daytime and in the nighttime. What the mm-hmm. fuck? And like he just wanted to like. Like I'm thoroughly like perplexed by this shit. Yeah. I mean, it's weird when you see these people, like, what makes them tick or whatever, like, and, like, you see these guys, they're, like, business owners, they're lawyers, they're all these different kinds of powerful things, like, realtors or they own properties or whatever, and... I guess you like what you like. I don't know, they're weird. They're, to me, they're weird, because it's, like, you're this powerful, so-called boss, and then, like, I tell you, like, get on your knees and, like act like a dog and you're acting like a dog literally eating like dog food i would bring in dog food for them to eat and if i told them to eat dog food they ate dog food well i think it's like it's like people like what they can't have like or like this like thing like okay like someone with so much power like the only thing they want is to not be in control for once or someone that never has power that's like the only thing they want is to for once be the person in control so like you could kind of see like how like the opposites probably attracts to like hey listen i just want to be abused you know i think a lot goes into the mental of that kind of shit you know what i mean yeah i just don't understand it i i don't understand it either but i think it's hilarious especially when it's like a man he like these guys come in and like they tell their personal business about their life and this one guy 
um, his name wasn't even like Steven, but he wanted to be called Stephanie. I don't remember what his real name was. Fuck? Yeah, and he would come in and he would be dressed like like he wanted like me to go in the closet and like get women's lingerie and like heels yeah. and he would dress like a woman and we would just like and he wanted to be paraded around in front of like all the girls who worked there and he wanted to like wear thongs he was just crazy it was like he was he wanted to do cross dressing and this man was married with like grown children and he was married for like was 10 years hmm? was he jewish too um he probably was because he was kind of cheap <laughs> But yeah, he was kind of cheap. Oh my god! But I think he was Jewish. But he um he used to, no no he was because he used to wear the Star of David necklace, and he would like take it off. Mm-hmm. Dominatrix Anonymous. <laughs> I can't even believe half of this shit that I'm fucking hearing right now. Like I wish you was lying. Like I really wish you were lying. Like these- I wish I was lying too a little bit, a little bit because I feel bad for these idiot guys that come in there. Like they're idiots. I don't know. Like completely, like you don't have no kind of pride. It's just like, I mean, some like you said, you like what you like. Yeah, that, that's true too. I don't know. People have like their preferences. I don't. I can never understand why someone w- would want to be tortured and like that can make you climax. I just, yeah. I don't know. But whatever. I got paid and I like I enjoyed it until I stopped. Like I liked yeah. breaking canes over these white men's yeah, like, like flabby canes? ass. Yeah. Cane. Like swinging canes. So it's called caning. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And you just like like whack them, whack them, whack them until you broke the cane on their ass and then you get another cane. And like whack them until you broke the cane and then you get another cane until they like were screaming or until they were bleeding. And I was like, okay, girls, I don't want your blood all over the place. I'll stop. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it was, the thing is, it was, like, really sanitary <clears throat> and some aspects because, like, we always were had to wear, like, gloves and, like, certain kinds of things, like, protection or whatever. If some guy wanted, like, what I didn't like, I would never want to put a dildo or, like, a butt <laughs> plug up somebody's ass. But, like, the girls who did, they had to wear, like, condoms on the dildo or whatever it was. I didn't like that. I'm not and into. Sit there and fuck a nigga in his ass. Absolutely. Like I saw it and I almost threw up. I, I like the because some guys wanted to like get fucked up the ass with a I dildo. Mean, this is getting weird. It yeah. is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is getting weird. It is. It is. I I don't even want. Let's let's talk about something else. This is like. <laughs> what do you want to talk this about? Is, this is like a little more than what I'm talking about. <laughs> This is more. No, than and what that's I'm exactly about. And like, and you're only hearing about it and seeing it. I was like, I, I was like, I was thrown for a loop. Yeah, a lot of times, like, uh, so like the one guy used to pull his teeth with um, yeah, what pliers. The fuck was that about? So he had a fetish for like getting his teeth pulled out. But what if he runs out of teeth? Like no one really pulled his teeth out because he would like say stop 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he had um, he had this thing called. So he wants you to almost pull his. Yes, teeth out. exactly. Like all a lot of his teeth were loose. He even had a girlfriend in real life who was black, and who would do that to him. So like he would come and bring like lidocaine, which is like it would be like it's like a numbing serum, okay. and we would. St- like he would bring all the utensils, like a syringe, everything. And I would stick him in his gums with the lidocaine, and um, until he was numb. And I didn't know what I was doing. I act like I know what I was doing, and I did it. I could have killed this guy, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it, and okay. and okay. then okay. I would like take pliers, and um, like just pull on one of his teeth and like just start yanking it, and like I almost I I got like the root out. And then he was like, like he was like kind of screaming. So I was like, whatever, you know, I'll stop. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Dominatrix Anonymous. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you niggas? <laughs> what in the fuck is wrong with you niggas? I want to ask my guests so bad, what are the dangers in this kind of business? But I don't even see no dangers for her. It's a lot of dangers for you niggas. No, this there was dangers for the girls because like, it was what kind of dangers do you have? It was like well, not specifically for me, thank God, but there were other girls who um met with guys and like he didn't like black women, thank God, but he would wait 
outside like he would wait in his car like a block away and then when he sees someone like walking he would like follow them in his car like oh i can give you a ride home Mm. or whatever like some people would try to like use like some people worked in the government they would try to use like face recon face recognition for like um to find these girls from their profiles so they like they would do weird shit they, I don't know. They, it wasn't a lot of dangers because yeah. we had like security and stuff, but it was just overall, it was, it was more so dangerous for the men. Yeah, like, like I, I've, I've talking, I've spoken to prostitutes, escorts, and like all kind of other people, like within this kind of like realm of business, but like never this extreme, never this type of thing. Like, <clears throat> you dudes out here, you. You, you like going into these I know some of my listeners gotta be Into this kind of shit But like You willing to lose your life for a nut? I mean Some people don't think they're gonna lose their life Like they know they have covers mm-hmm. Or whatever If they Like if it's getting too excessive Then you know They'll say whatever the code word is I don't know I don't think people are gonna lose their life over it Like they know What's gonna push them to the limit And what's oh, not Oh okay okay It's one of those things Yeah Like some guys Like I remember this guy yeah. I was with him for two hours, and two he, fucking hours. Mm-hmm. Um, and he wanted to just be beat up for two hours, like wrapped up, hog tied, like dragged. You get tired. I was tired. I didn't want to. Like, what I would do is like call other girls in there and like give them a part of my tip, right? So like he, they would like like kick him and like, and he wanted to leave out of there like bruised up and everything. Yeah, he was like. He wanted to get dragged on like the wooden floor, and he was getting like splinters. It was like he was just like crazy, but he was never like. I feel like he was playing. Like when we would kick him, he'd be like, "Oh," and then, <laughs> and then he would be like, "Fine." Like I don't think that hurt really hurt him. I think him making the noises was like a theatrical kind of thing, because he walked out of there. He had bruises all over, but he was like walking out of there regularly, and like even one of the girls shoved their like their heel up his ass, their heel, and like he was fine. So I don't know what it is for them. This shit is giving me a headache. <laughs> This shit is really <laughs> bugging me the yeah, fuck Yeah, it out. is kind of, that's kind of also why I stopped this. Like, I got a little traumatized. I'm not really a sadistic person. And, like, you really have to be a sadist to sit there and, like, beat somebody up all day long. Yeah. Like, like there was, at some point, you got to be like, yo, this is some bullshit. It was too much after a little while. Like, yeah. besides the fact that guys were, like, trying to make advances for, like, sexual advances, like, the... I I got tired of like fucking people up, especially like I don't know. They just look dumb. Like I would lock them in a cage, and they just look dumb. I I just fucking retarded ass nigga. Yeah, I'm not even having fun anymore. Like (laughs) this was fun when I thought like you didn't even care. (laughs) Seriously? No, no, no. This was fun when I thought you cared, and like this was like painting you. But like now that you're like really thoroughly enjoying this, like get the fuck out. Exactly. That's the thing. Is like they and. They, they enjoy it and when I got to the point where it's like I don't I'm not having fun anymore I don't want to do it so I just stopped altogether but like it's not the worst thing to do yeah I mean you know I have I had guests that come up here and um you know they talk about having sex for money and you know how how demeaning it is and how they feel like their character is like kind of like stricken by these kinds of activities and right like, I don't think that you kind of experience no, I didn't. Only I personally. Only, no, personally, I didn't feel that way. I would only get like feel degraded when those guys would make those types of, types of advances. But then also like these, they saw other girls there who like let them have sex with them, so they must think that's what happens. Oh, that's what it is. You know so what I mean? Have you ever been in a relationship while doing this? Um, no. Uh-uh. Okay, so you were single. The entire yes, year. I wouldn't if I because I've seen so many penises. Like they would be butt naked. I would feel crazy if I was like in a relationship and doing that. Yeah, I just did it as an experiment, really, and like to make money while I'm experimenting. Wow. So like all of that money was probably kind of hard going back to a regular job. No. No, I had a regular job while I was doing that. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I would like work there till one in the morning, go home, and like get up and go to my regular job and then go there after work. Yeah. It was like regular. I don't know. It was just like supplemental income. It wasn't like life changing. It was just like something that was fun that also made me money. 
And you didn't feel nothing? No, not at all. Except for like the first day or two, I felt grossed out seeing so many white little penises. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I can't do this shit. Besides that, like after that, if you see one white penis, you see them all. And yeah. then I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, okay. yeah, I can like fuck you up for like $100 an hour. Fine. Okay, what kind of advice would you give to a, a woman that wants to enter this field or even a guy that wants to, like, is, like, interested in this kind of stuff? What kind of, like, advice would you give them or some precautionary things or, like, you know, just whatever, well, just something that you could tell them? For women, I would definitely say you really have to be, like, have the mindset to be, like, like you can't really care. Like you can't be a compassionate person doing this kind of thing at all. at all. Like all the girls who were there were like really sadistic or had like no emotion. So they were like emotional or like, where do you think that comes from? I don't know. Probably like abuse or like something that happened. Well, how about you? Where did it come from with you? I'm just an experimental person. Like I never got abused or touched or anything as a child. Thank God. I just, I'm so curious uh, um, and I just like to have experiences to like talk yeah. about or like I like to say, OK, I did that. And like, I yeah. know I don't like it or I love it. OK, so I'm sorry. Back to your advice that you would give. <laughs> the advice for I don't I don't really have like much advice besides yeah. like if you're going to feel traumatized by doing it, then like don't do it. Like it's an experience. You really have to have a certain mindset. You yeah. really have to be built for something like that because that like there was girls who came there the first day and was like and they never showed up again you know what i mean because it's like you're mentally yeah it's a lot do you think you're kind of like mentally sick in the head i know i am (laughs) 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 okay what about the fellas could you give any uh men advice that wanted to like besides they were fucking dumbass (laughs) um i would say practice but like if they do are are into S and M and like bondage and all that stuff, they should go to a dungeon first before they like ask the girl that they're with to do it. Simply because yeah. it's like if a guy ever asked me to do that first, like and I'm with him, I would get so weirded out because uh-huh. it's so extreme. Yeah. But I don't really have much advice for guys. Like I don't I didn't like I don't know men who would be into that except for like handcuffs or like the basic bondage and S and M stuff. Wow, I mean, Traveling Anonymous, um, season two, episode two, Dominatrix Anonymous. <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of fucking stories, and I feel like we could go on for hours. Probably. But for the sake of my podcast, <laughs> you know, I try to keep it really short, and um, just so people could get the idea, I'm sure they're going to want to know more stories from you. Um, Maybe we'll do a part two and have you back <laughs> here to answer some questions that people may have. Um, That sounds cute. <laughs> um yeah this is definitely an experiment for me you know meeting with people that i definitely do not know and it's just like um you kind of get a different experience from people that you may know it's like more of like this thing of like listen they could tell you anything i could tell them anything and you know it's just really authentic and i appreciate that from all of my guests and especially the the um the, the people in season two i mean we have a lot of uh, great interviews for you guys i really hope you enjoyed it um don't forget to add me on twitter and on instagram um you know hit me up i'm always talking to people about the podcast you know i really uh appreciate all the support you guys give me you know i i'm going to continue to give you dope shit but also continue to give me dope ideas to provide to you guys dope content you know um i mean forty thousand plays on soundcloud somebody's listening um, I checked, I got a little fan base in um, United Kingdom and Canada. So definitely shout out to those places. You know, keep supporting, keep telling people, keep sharing it. You know, I appreciate you all. My name is Chris Dallas. It's Traveling Anonymous. It's only entertainment. Please don't get us indicted. Yeah. Yeah. This episode of Traveling Anonymous is engineered by Bunshanya Lunsford. Lunsford.